everybody in this video what I'm going to be doing is walking you through project file management within Autodesk Inventor specifically I'm going to be talking about the projects folder which is an important piece whenever it comes to building projects um, and creating work for, with your IED students in class um, if you don't teach them this they will not do it if they do not organize their files it's just like that kid that throws a worksheet in his in his book bag and you never find it again the same kind of errors will happen here in a digital setting in that they will create parts and not know where they are and they won't be able to use them in order to move forward to build things and assemble them and make really cool stuff in your class. So this is a really, really important thing that you will want to absolutely teach to your students and you'll want to mimic yourself. First of all, let's talk about a project folder. What are project folders? Project folders are basically digital storage bins. That's a good way to put it, a file folder. And every time that you work on an individual project, maybe it's the automata uh, in the old, the old curriculum, it was the train project that we used to make a model train. Maybe it's um, everything for unit five, you want to go in a particular location where you want it all to be stored together. That's what a project folder will do for you. It'll take it and group everything together. It will teach Autodesk Inventor where to look and where to find those part files so they don't have to go search for them. You'll notice that whenever you create a project folder, you will get little names over here of all the projects folders that are created. Now, I'm not really a fan of this home screen, but it works. Um, and if I want to switch between project folders, you can see right now my activated project folder is the Automata 1718 folder. If I wanted to switch, I simply come up here and I double click. And now I have a different project folder that is located. Name of the folder is 20 isometric models. It has some files in there. I can see the most recent, only the most recent three that I've worked on down here. I really don't like this recent documents area. I kind of teach my kids to go through and minimize it because if you click open up here, you'll notice I actually have way more than three parts that are located. By the way, one quick thing, this is kind of a tangent, but if you go to the view menu and you change it, typically it defaults to this. If you change this to large icons, you can see pictures, which really helps to locate the file that you want to. Your kids will not name things correctly. They'll name it like part and then that's not descriptive enough, so they have no idea what they're trying to open or where to find it. The large icon view is pretty nice. So anyway, back to the point. You'll notice when I clicked open, it did take you directly to the isometric models folder. That's pretty handy. What you'll also notice is things like IDW files and render drawing files. In order for this part to be created, I had to have, you can see it's part 16 down here, Okay. In order to create this, I had to have the part files in the same folder so it could draw upon those to place them on the sheet. If you have objects in different folders, if part 16, for instance, was in a different project, it would struggle to put together the IDW file later on. It would struggle to put together assembly files. If, it, if you're trying to put together a car and you don't know where the wheel is located, it's really difficult to put together the car. So it's important to keep things in the same project folder so that when you build assemblies, when you build IDW files, all those different kind of file types that are coming later on, it knows where to find everything and it's in one spot. So the obvious question that follows from this, how do I create this? Easy answer is to come up here to projects and open up this menu. You'll see the names of all the projects that you've created so far as well as a check mark next to the one that's activated. In this screen, you can also change it. If I wanted to go to in-class demonstrations, I just double click. But if I want to go through and I want to create a new one, I just come down to the bottom. I click new. There are two options for project files. In IED, you will always, always do single user projects. We do not do anything that requires vault work. So we're going to click next. You're going to give it a name. Easy name. I'm just going to call it like project file demo for this video and I'm going to click finish. It's going to come up with a little window every single time it says, hey, I don't I don't see anything named project file demo. Do you want me to go ahead and create it? And what it's asking is within Windows Explorer, do you want it to create a folder to store all this information? Your answer is going to be OK. Yes, I'll create it for you. You now have a new project folder named project file demo. It's here. It's the last one I use, so it's activated. I can click done you'll see that it also has a green check here. So if I was going to create a new part and draw something, notice down here it says the project file that I'm creating it within is the project file demo. We can also change it here if we want to. I'm not going to for now. And you click create. And now I'm building a part 
that's within that folder. It's going to be saved in the same location as everything else that I want to do for this particular project. Now, let's go talk about where this is actually located. I don't know why I opened this up. I didn't need to show you myself opening up a part. Where we are working in, if I go to File, and I look down here at the Options, and I go to File, you'll see that my Projects folder is located right here. You may want to have kids go and change this to a location that's easy to find. For instance, mine is set up to be login based on our network, which is why you see user profile here. If you have an IT person in your in your um, district that's able to help you get students linked to their Google Drives, that would be so awesome. You will, you will be so happy. Most of the time it's on a school network drive is where this stuff will be located. But user profile stands for login based. Login based, and I have a Google Drive installed on my computer. I have a folder inside of it called PLTW, and then General Resources, then Inventor. You can easily take this if you want to and go find it. And you can see where it's located also in kind of a more hierarchical setting here. So I can see that I had to go to Desktop. I had to go to My User Profile, Google Drive, PLTW, General Resources, and then I've got it really hidden in there, okay? The reason that's important is because that tells me how to find it. If I come down here to Windows Explorer, again, not Internet Explorer, Windows Explorer. I'll go back to my desktop, for instance. Here's all my stuff on my desktop. I can go from me to my location now that I know it's in Google Drive and the PLTW folder and General Resources and in the Inventor. I can see that I have all of my project folders here and inside of those, are the actual files. This is nice because let's say that I work and I build something in the wrong file. Let's say that part 18 really was part of an automata project. I could go, I could cut it, or in this case, I'm just gonna copy it. I could come back a folder, go into automata, and I could paste if I wanted to, and now I've moved that part over to a different spot. Either copy, paste, or cut, paste, whatever you wanna do. But it's really simple to move stuff around. So Windows Explorer, which is what I'm looking at right here, Windows Explorer is a great way to organize files. You can also rename them here. Widget number four. You can do stuff like that. And whenever you make a change here in Windows Explorer, you will notice that in Autodesk Inventor, it does make the change there as well. So this video, that's about eight minutes worth of organizing project folders. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what a project folder is. It gives you an idea of how to create one, and it gives you an idea of how to go find it within Windows Explorer so that you can do organizing when you want to. If you have any questions, please let me know.